they're little tricksters, so they they will always survive like cockroaches, you know, like they will just survive somehow by infesting somebody else's home and taking it for their own. It's which what they do with independent labels. You know, indies grow and they do this really great thing. We're like all in love with the indie and then the big labels come, they flash some big money. You've been working so hard. I mean, I run an indie. It's very, very hard. A lot of money. It's our money. It's self-invest. You know, we, we, you know, it's all our own money. No one's funding my company. And um, it's hard. So I could only imagine if someone came down and said, here is, you know, $500 million and we are going to take your, let you go have vacation. It could be tempting. I'm hoping that that doesn't come you know, again, I think we've gone through that cycle so many times. The, the majors fuck up. The indies come in, save the day. The majors buy them. They fuck up again, and the cycle starts again.